What's up YouTube, it's Lil T with Techaholics, back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stream your screen on your Android device to your Xbox One. So let's get it in. Alright, so first things first, this is my 100th video upload to YouTube, and I want to thank all y'all guys for making this possible. Without y'all, you know, I'm nothing, so I wanted to go ahead and share this cool little feature or tool with you, and also nobody else has done this, so I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of, you know, work that you have to do in order to get it to work, but... You know, that's what my channel is about is helping y'all guys figure out things that they said that isn't possible. So if you don't know already, it is not possible to stream your uh, phone screen to the Xbox One Slim. And as you can tell, I got the Slim model over here. And as you, as you can tell from the intro, it is actually working. And if you don't believe me, I mean, I could be able to go and do whatever I need to do. You know, be able to pick whatever app that I want to. So, yeah, so you can tell that it's working. But anyways, um, this is not possible with the Slim model. I don't know why, but the older Xbox One that actually came out, it actually did work for that model. But after they updated it, I guess it didn't like stick or whatever. So they just um, they just did away with it. So what I want to do is I want to show you all how to do this. So basically what you do is that you go into the Play Store and you search for an app called Stream hold on screen stream or yeah i think that's stream hold on let me check for you guys there, there's a bunch of different apps that i used whenever i actually got this okay so it's called screen mirroring that's what it's called so you go to screen mirroring whoop let me get it to flip back over All right, so so the one that you want is the one that's red right here. And also on your Xbox, what you wanna do is you just wanna follow the instructions that it says in the app. So whenever you download it, which always links will be in the description for this. And let me go ahead and let me stop the video real quick so I can be able to show y'all how this works. Okay, so what it says is, do you need help? No, y'all don't because y'all got me and I'm going to help y'all out as much as what you need with this. So it says, upgrade to the pro, you know, whatever. You don't have to do that. It's not, you know, it's not something that you have to do. So you don't have to spend money on this. It's actually free. And would you like to try out our mirroring apps? No, you know, okay. Make sure that it's on the same Wi-Fi network, obviously. And... um with you know with your xbox you're just going to go to this link or this website right here it says all right so let's go to my xbox Oop, sorry let me get that fixed all right so on my xbox as you could tell i went ahead i went to the uh to the website I actually have it um saved in my favorites just because you know it's easier to find so you just go to the application or you go to the um the website for the application and you'll see that it pops up this little rq code and you're like okay well what you do on your phone side is you'll see this little like cast button right here press that little cast button and whoop it already picked it up <laughs> it was that fast guys as you could tell as soon as it reads the rq code it's going to do it so let me try to do that again um, let me let me refresh the page because it's not gonna work if I don't refresh the page. So let me refresh it. You see a little RQ code again. So on your phone side, let me try to get it outside. Okay, so you see how there's this little uh, camera. You know, oh, you see it already picked it up again. <laughs> so as y'all can tell, it works really well. I didn't even touch it near the RQ code and it already picked it up. That's awesome. So anyways. And what you want to do also on your Xbox side is that you want to um, you want to make sure that you're in the Internet Explorer, which I'm sorry I didn't explain that from the beginning. So um, let me exit out of that. I'm trying to do this with one hand or whatever. So anyways, you see it's Microsoft Edge. 
obviously there it goes it popped up it's nothing too fancy it's just the normal internet browser i went over here went to the mirroring um, website right there went ahead popped it on to my phone and if you if it doesn't work it'll do this all that you have to do is you just have to go into your app settings and you just have to clear it out so you you will actually get that um you know that notification sometimes so let me go ahead and let me find it I'm trying to do this behind the cell phone is kind of hard but it's all for you guys there it is just go right here go to force stop go to force stop all right, so let me open up back the application again. Go right here. Boop, then it'll pop up. Okay, so now y'all must be wondering, you know, how, how am I gonna be able to enjoy my video with it like this? Well, whenever you first get the application, it's going to actually, or whenever you first go into your Microsoft application, it is actually going to be set to where it's at, I think, 100 percent on the screen you want to actually drop it down to 50 percent you see as you can tell on this side let me try to zoom in 50 percent of it is actually you know uh, as the setting so you don't want to do anything else besides this and the reason being is so um here i'll try to give you an example if you zoom in you'll actually get this little bar on the side of the screen that is actually kind of annoying Whenever you go to put it in the full screen mode, you see the little bar on the side that's over here. This is actually a little annoying. So you want to go ahead and you want to put it at 50%. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So now let's drop it back down to 50%. Yeah, it makes the screen a little bit smaller, but it, it helps out. So you want to go ahead and you want to go to this box right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, it looks kind of like a little box. You want to just go ahead and go to that and click on it. Let me see. Why is it not selecting it? It should. Can I get my technical difficulty screen to pop up? Anyway, so let me go ahead and let me fix this for you guys. It probably is because I have to redo it, like refresh the screen. And then, um, let me see, did I back it out? Oh yeah, I was zoomed in way too close, I'm sorry. So let me go ahead and let me redo this. All right, and as you can tell, it still does it even though that it's that small. And as soon as it pops up, you wanna go ahead and you wanna click on that box like I said. And whenever you do it, it should make your screen, it should make it full screen. Oh, oh, I know why it's not doing it. Okay, my bad, I'm sorry. So, with your phone, you wanna go ahead and you wanna tilt it sideways like this. And then you wanna, what is this? Oh, that's why, okay, okay, yeah. There we go, all right. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had it on full screen. Um, on the Xbox, you wanna make sure that that does not happen. And the way that that happens is obviously, I accidentally had it in full screen. Um, I might accidentally press the full screen button whenever I was doing it, you know, before. So I'm sorry that that happened. So as you can tell, my screen of my Android phone is actually casting to my TV. So let me go ahead and let me uh, tell you all right now that the only thing that's bad about this is that any audio that's coming through your phone isn't going to go to the TV. So the reason being, obviously, is because the app can't handle uh, audio and the way that you fix this is you obviously either get a Bluetooth speaker or you get um, like maybe a sound bar that has Bluetooth in it and then you just connect your phone. So uh, a lot of these newer sound bars and a lot of these, um, you know, these uh, like cheap Bluetooth speakers will actually work pretty well. So let me go ahead and let me show you a demonstration of what this would obviously look like. So, um, and you may be wondering, you know, what, what would, what would this benefit me of it? Well, obviously you have your 
Android screen on your, you know, on your TV and you don't have to invest in an Android box or anything like that. You could just actually use your Xbox to be able to do this. And like I said, it's free. You're not paying anything for it. So, um, so uh, another cool feature is that you can actually use your, your Xbox one remote to connect to your Android, um, phone. So you'd be able to do all this. So it's basically like an Android TV box on your Xbox. That's pretty cool to even think about. So like I said, let me go ahead and let me show y'all a preview of what this looks like. So let me go ahead and let me open up like, like what I like watching, you know, TV channels. So like I said, I could be able to show y'all it is on my phone and it is right there on the Xbox. So let me go ahead and let me open up a, you know, a TV stream. Away from home in a snowstorm, fighting with his parents' cell phone, what authorities have now revealed tonight. Move this down here, obviously, to get it out of the way, and you can barely right even see it. So, yeah. In a moment, how we got them out. So you see, I do have the. Um, whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I do have the Bluetooth speaker connected to it. We want you. So as you can tell, to keep doing. See how it turns up. And we'll take care of Medicare Part D. By helping you save dollars on each prescription. And there goes my Bluetooth speaker so down there. Um, at the bottom. To doing the things you love. Stop in. So that's really cool. Let me go ahead and let me show y'all another stream real quick. Do like FX. Something basic and simple. Back! Wow, you look great. So do you. <laughs> hi. Hey, hi there. I am Jules, uh, significant other. All right, so as you can tell, that's pretty cool. Another really cool thing about this also is that you could play games. So you could be able to stream it straight from your phone to the TV. So that's another cool benefit. Let me go ahead and let me open up my PS2 application. And as you can tell, I'm sorry for the, you know, the jumpiness a little bit of my camera. I'm trying to, you know, record this and do this all at the same time. It's actually pretty hard. <laughs> So, as you can tell, playing PlayStation games on my TV from my Xbox. Like, that, that, is, that is pretty cool. And like I said, if you don't believe me that this is my Xbox that's playing this, you yeah. know, I mean, a lot of people is going to be skeptical. But obviously, you could tell as soon as I press the home button, you know, how am I going to be able to fake this right now? It's not possible. You know, just, you know, that's, that, that's awesome. But like I said, uh... The only thing that's not cool about this is the fact that it doesn't stream the audio straight to the TV. Like I said, you can easily um, you can easily bypass that with a Bluetooth speaker or a soundbar that has Bluetooth built into it, which, like I said, a lot of those newer ones do have it. So you can enjoy all the benefits of having your phone actually on your screen now with this little tip and trick. All right, so if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. Once again, thank you so much for the 100 video upload. You know, like I said, this wouldn't be possible without you guys. And I appreciate everything that y'all do for me without the liking and sharing. And thank you for all the people who have subscribed to my channel and who are continuing to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.